Welcome to the Animal Crossing New Horizons Guide to November. This is the 11th in what is 12 videos to guide you into making the most out of every month of the year in Animal Crossing New Horizons. We'll discuss all the different creatures that can be caught, events that will happen, and birthdays that will be celebrated. Keep in mind that this video is being made in October of 2021 and there's plenty of updates to come that might introduce content that's not covered in this video. But without further ado, let's get into it. Maple leaves will begin to rain from the sky from the 16th of November to the 25th. A variety of furniture items can be made with these leaves, so catch them with your net whenever you get a chance. The snowfall begins again, and while it doesn't accumulate on the ground quite yet, you can start to see it fall for the first time this season on the 26th of November and onwards. All of November is mushrooming season. You'll notice five different kinds of mushrooms around your town. Most of them will be growing at the base of your trees, with the rare mushroom being found buried underground, similar to fossils. On the fourth Thursday of November, Franklin will be visiting our islands once again for Turkey Day. He'll ask you to collect a variety of ingredients to prepare a feast for you and all of your residents to enjoy. From November 1st to the 11th is the Seasonal Lantern Festival. Like other seasonal events, you can log into Nook Shopping under the Seasonal tab and find the handheld lantern to order between these dates. Shichigo-san is a Japanese holiday that runs from the 11th to the 20th, and you can order the Chisose Ame from Nook Shopping as well during these dates. From October 24th to November 22nd is Scorpio season. Talk to Celeste during this time period to earn the Scorpio lamp recipe made with Scorpius fragments on your beach. From November 23rd to December 21st is Sagittarius season. This season's recipe is the Sagittarius Arrow, a wall-hung item that you can also learn from Celeste. The following villagers all celebrate their birthday in the month of November in order from the 1st to the 30th. Butch and Rilla, Igly, Snake, Lucky, Lobo, Boris, Bam, Ali, Pango, Rodney, Mac, Matilda, Queenie, Pancetti, Sly, Daisy, Mallory, Tia, Amelia, Sparrow, Flip, Claudia, Knox, Shep, Wolfgang, Willow, Phil, Peaches, Kabuki, and Tasha. As we slowly transition into winter, a lot of new fish begin to come and go. We'll have 11 fish leaving this month and 5 new ones arriving, making for a total of 16 fish that we need to discuss. As always, let's start with the 11 that are leaving. Your clifftop rivers will be a hot spot for fish leaving this month, and one of those fish leaving is the cherry salmon, but that's the most common of the fish that spawn there. Next is the char. This is another clifftop fish that is leaving this month and is more rare than cherry salmon, but not as rare as... The Golden Trout. Now the good news is that if you don't get these three fish, you'll only have to wait until March to see them again. The mitten crab doesn't stick around for long, so if you didn't get a chance to get one in November, you'll be waiting until September of next year to get that chance again. In the morning hours, the guppy will start to spawn. This is the last month to get them though, as they'll be gone until April if you don't get it now. Another tiny fish in your rivers is the Neon Tetra. It's another uncommon fish that spawns in the mornings for the last time until April as well. Moving to the ocean now, the seahorse is yet another tiny fish that will be gone until April. Available pretty commonly through the day in your oceans is the zebra turkey fish. You've probably caught plenty of these fish by now though. Rather uncommon is the barred knife job, but it's a great fish to catch for its value and for the fact that it'll be gone until March if you don't. Another fish leaving this month is the ray. It prefers the warmer waters, so you won't be seeing this fish again until August. Yes, despite every source saying that this is a year-round fish, it's actually not. November is the last month where it can rain on your island, and the coelacanth only spawns in rain, not snow. Weird, right? Anyways, that's all for the fish leaving this month, now onto the ones arriving. One of the traditional winter fish in this game is the Bitterling. It's another tiny river fish for you to look for this month. 
The blowfish is back, and rather uncommon. Look for it in the ocean where you'll find it to be about the same size as a dab. One of the two pier exclusive fish this month is the tuna. It's the largest fish shadow without a fin in this game, sharing that trait with... The Blue Marlin. In my experience, if you see a huge fish on your piers, it has about a 50-50 chance of being either a tuna or a Blue Marlin. Lastly, the scary looking football fish returns and brings with it a solid selling price to add to its decent rarity. Eleven bugs leave this month as the colder weather moves in and a few new ones spawn on top of that, so here's the 14 bugs of note that you need to catch this month. With autumn leaving, so too does the monarch butterfly. It'll be a while before you see it again, so pick one up now if you haven't already. A few creatures hopping around your grass will be leaving this month, one of which is a long locust, a very common bug. Less common is the migratory locust, still you've probably had plenty of time to get it, so don't yell at me if you didn't get one yet. Small, slow, and decently rare is the rice grasshopper. They'll be leaving as well this month and will not be back until August. A month later than the bell cricket, the regular cricket is leaving as well, and this will be the last month that you can hear their chirps until they're back in September. The mantis will be crawling on your flowers for the last time until March. It's the more common counterpart to... The orchid mantis, and this bug shares the same spawning conditions as the regular mantis, but is more expensive. Leave a tree stump around your island for a violin beetle, otherwise you'll have to wait until May to get it again. Spawning in the wee morning and the evening hours is the walking stick. It'll be on all kinds of trees for the last time until July. Your villagers rejoice as fleas won't spawn anymore after November. They're pretty rare though, so if you haven't donated one yet, keep an eye out for any itchy residents. Like the coelacanth, the snail is often listed as year-round, however, it requires rain to spawn. And with the snow season coming, this will be the last time that you can get it before it warms up again. The first of three bugs arriving this month is the damselfly. It'll be pretty commonly flying near freshwater sources during the colder months of the year. Oh boy, the bull cricket's back! Oh, indeed your ears will be quickly informed of their return, but make sure you dig one up and donate it while they're here. Scorpions are out and tarantulas are in. Find these guys rarely sneaking around your island at night, or go for the 1% chance of finding a tarantula mystery island. And finally, we have three sea creatures leaving this month, and five new ones arriving. So here are the eight benthic creatures that you need to catch this month. Available from the evening to the morning hours is the Chambered Nautilus, a rare deep sea creature that will be gone until March. The quick, small, and rare Umbrella Octopus is leaving as well. Hopefully you've caught one by now, as they will be gone until March as well. Another pretty rare creature is the Gazami Crab. It's the last of the benthic creatures leaving this month, not returning until June once the month is over. Dunganess crabs begin to spawn again and are worth stocking up on as they're often used as ingredients in Franklin's dish this turkey day. The very rare Red King Crab is returning and will challenge even the best divers. You'll need patience and skill to catch this creature. Unlike the sea cucumber, which is common, lethargic, and really not worth a whole lot. But the hardest of all the catches this month is going to be the sea pig. What it lacks in size, it makes up for in value, being one of the most valuable creatures in the game. The snow crab is another difficult catch this month. It's also worth a lot though, so if you're struggling to make bells this month, then maybe deep sea diving should be considered. Thank you for watching the November edition of my monthly guides. If you want a link to my previous and future monthly guides, then you can click on the playlist that you see here. Thank you for the support on the channel as always, and come support me on Twitch as well, where I'm live six days a week at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. Thank you again, and I'll see you next month for the finale, the Animal Crossing New Horizons Guide to December.